Welcome back to Go Figure Customs YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the videos on the uh, Joy Toy figure reviews. I think they are fantastic figures. Really enjoying those. Uh, Joy Toy posted some uh, pictures today of uh, upcoming figures that they've got planned. There's a couple with uh, exoskeletons, like two different exoskeletons that look fantastic, and then uh, and an astronaut figure that they're working on, and that looks just amazing. Uh, if you're not already following them on Facebook, I would suggest that, because they do show a lot of pre-production stuff of what's coming up, so it's nice to see that. Um, in the background, no doubt you can hear my six-month-old puppy tearing around, so sorry about that. Uh, I do have one Joy Toy set left to review, and that's the Cavalry set, but I'm going to do that another time. Um, today I'm going to review and unbox, so it's, this is a figure review and an unboxing, so why not both, right, of the latest wave of Predator figures. So let me get the first one out, and I've already, of course, thrown away packaging for the first one. So I've got him stashed, and I really like these um, plastic tackle boxes from Walmart, although I just bought a new one, and they've changed the layout of them, and they don't, of course, you know, if it's, if it's broke, if it's not broke, don't fix it, well, who, who listens to that anymore? They've changed the, the way the tabs fit in the the dividers fit in there and it doesn't fit 12 figures perfectly anymore so now I've got to see if I can find another one of those because that's what I like to keep my loose figures in so the one that I've already opened and I'll show you the packaging to these in a, in a few minutes is the Shaman Predator Here's the Shaman Predator here. I got the kind of the lighter colored skin. I've got the the throwing disc that's already kind of that's already sculpted into the um, the waist piece. Uh, it's not removable. Uh, the first set of figures, first set of uh, Predator figures, each came with. One of the throwing discs. I don't know if there's a if this is a glaive or what. There's a specific name for these type of things um, for a specific weapon. There probably isn't. I just don't know it. Um, I'm not sure if these are actually they're these are nice and slotted. Lots of holes in these things, so I don't know if those are supposed to um, fit in their hands. But I've not been able to get that uh, to fit in there too easily. Uh, the Flexi hair there. Uh, the these are really really stiff figures. I have not obviously since uh, most of these are going to be unboxing. I have not heated these up. These do need to be heated in hot water to prevent um, joints from breaking and just to break the the factory seal on these. Uh, I have not broken one of these yet. Whereas on uh, my Wonder Woman figure, if you've watched the review for that uh, I mentioned that the shoulder joint on her was painted um, so that the the shoulder joint there was factory paint into the joint so it locked the joint and when I tried to move it broke off um, and I also have the Hyatt Batman figure one of the Batman figures and one of his ankles broke. Uh, I also have um, one of the Harley Quinn figures, and I have not taken that out of the package. Um, I'm not real impressed with the quality control in the uh, in the Injustice line. Uh, I have a Green Lantern ordered, just because I I'm a Green Lantern fan from a long time ago. Otherwise, I probably would not be getting any more Injustice. Uh, Injustice 2 figures for the price and the, the lack of quality on them. 
Uh, so the shaman figure, lighter skin tone, open mouth. What does it come with? It comes with an alien skull, which is cool if you want to start your own trophy room. I think that'd be a kind of a cool diorama. A lot of these guys come with this. Uh, it comes with the, the closed version of the staff that they use in Predator 2, and these are all labeled Predator 2. And a set of interchangeable hands. So he's got the two hands that are on there that will hold stuff, and then he's got a set of hands, extra set of hands, like that, that are just open. And these are on, uh, I believe these are on different, or are they on the same ball peg? Yeah, they're on a, a slightly different peg. It's still a ball peg, but it's, um, it looks like it's a, a barbell peg in there for the hands. Uh, let's get that back on there. It seems, since that barbell peg is made out of a stiffer plastic than the joints on the Injustice figures, I think you're going to be able to swap hands out on these a lot a lot easier without risking uh, breaking, that, um, breaking that peg, which is one of the reasons I wouldn't swap out hands too frequently on the Injustice figures is the, the ball peg on that looks like it's going to snap right off. Uh, the other thing that he that the Shaman Predator comes with is this big, huge fuck-off spear. Uh, the plastic's pretty soft, so it's not very straight. Um, and then it's since it's so large, it's kind of hard to store it, too. So, you know, if you're not keeping your guys out on display, um, then it's, it's hard to keep these as accessories somewhere where they're not going to get damaged or where you're going you're gonna to lose them. Uh, it also comes with a figure stand, and then there's little tool H brackets that you can attach the figure stands to one another, and uh, we'll look at those when we unbox the other figures. And then it also comes with the exquisite mini Predator figure sheet. So it shows you which City Hunter, the Guardian Predator, the Shadow Predator, Boar Predator, Warrior Predator, Elder Predator, those are the ones that are out already. And then the Stalker, Lost, Shaman, Scout Predator. Um, so that is the one that I've opened. So now we will set this aside and start the unboxing here. We'll leave that open because I'm going to put those figures, their accessories in that thing so I don't lose them. So here's what the boxes look like. All of the Hyatt toys come in boxes like this, which is really nice. So reviewing figures, what are the four main things I like to do? I like to talk about the packaging. This is fantastic packaging. I really like the boxes. Nice art on the back, a couple pictures of the figure, Predator 2 logo on the sides, figure name on the top, and same thing on the bottom flap. And just a piece of tape holding it in. I love the how the toys, you buy a toy here in the United States, and it comes twist-tied with 15 different twist ties in keeping it in the package using some sort of tape that's molecularly sealed to the box. If it's not in some clamshell that you need a table saw to get into, and you're more than likely going to lose a few pints of blood when you take a finger off trying to get into it just for a toy, whereas you buy a toy from overseas, China, Japan, something like that, there are two pieces of scotch tape holding this thing closed. I always get a kick out of that. So, inside the box, another one of those sheets showing which figures are in the set. Uh, there's a little kind of card art that goes in the back, and it's just kind of a crappy picture of a predator. It's not even a very decent picture. Um, overall playability, you're going to have to heat these things up before you do anything with them. Um, the joints are extremely stiff. I'm not going to manu 
manipulate these guys at all for this video just because I want to heat them up. I don't, you know, I've broken Joy Toy figure, Joy Toy, I've broken other Haya figures, my Injustice figures, so I'm not going to risk breaking these Predator figures. But I still think the playability is there uh, with the ones. Let's pull out one that I've already from a previous. This is from the previous wave. So I mean the 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 uh, articulation is fantastic on these things. So I think the well, looks like he was missing a piece there, huh? All right. Well, I think the articulation is fantastic. I think the playability is is definitely there once you get these guys soft, uh, soft heated up to break the seal to get those joints working. Um, the quality does seem to be, for whatever reason, does seem to be better than uh, the Injustice 2 figures. Uh, and I can't speak to the Marine figures because, like I said, the only um, Colonial Marine figure that I have is the uh, one that came with the APC, and the only Aliens figure I have is... I think it's called the Neomorph. I got it sitting right here. And the Neomorph figure. Now the quality on this, this Aliens figure is pretty decent too. Um, so I can't speak to any of the other figures in that line because I just I really don't have a use for for Aliens. Uh, not I enjoyed the movie. I really liked the movies, um, but I'm a much more of a Predator fan. And at a price point, which is, you know, the fourth thing that always reviews the price, um, these are running about 20 bucks a piece. So they are kind of on the pricey side for an action figure. Um, but again, you know, it's a, it's not a major, major toy brand like Mattel or Hasbro. So you're going to have, they're, the figures are going to be produced in a lower quantity. So that's going to increase the price and they just, these Smaller toy companies just don't have the deep pockets to eat some of the R and D costs, so they got to pass that on to the consumer. You know, you're, you're, that's why these things are going to be more expensive. Uh, as far as where to buy them, um, you know, pretty much any online retailer like uh, Big Bad Toy Store or Locker Toys uh, has these things. Uh, I did do a little research before I started the video, and they are a couple bucks more expensive at Locker Toys, which is usually the cheaper route, even with the overseas shipping, um, which kind of surprised me uh, because I've recently started getting my Joy Toy figures there because they're, even with the shipping, they're cheaper there than they are at Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I believe they're all 1995 or 1999 at Big Bad Toy Store. So Big Bad Toy Store usually has a, puts a significant markup on their stuff, but they seem to be the the place to go to for this. Okay, uh, the next one I have here is the Scout Troop, uh, Scout, Scout Predator. Comes in the, the double layer uh, plastic clamshell. He's got an alien skull too. It is uh, one solid chunk. It looks like they could have hinged that. It's just one solid chunk of plastic. That's pretty cool. I don't really have any use for those skulls, unfortunately. Uh, here's the figure stand that it comes with, and as I mentioned, it has two H brackets in there. And you can see the little notches in the bottom, and those go right in the in that bracket. More of an I bracket, I guess. More of an I shape than an H shape, because it lays flat. And then I'll leave that out, and I'll demonstrate the demonstrate that with the other one or another one when I open it um, the one thing I don't really like is the the uh, anyone that has the helmet those are not removable those are sculpted on if you pull that off you're gonna be highly disappointed uh, the wrist guard here uh, the other thing that I'm kind of not enamored with is the these are real soft plastic so they tend to tend to uh, bend um, fairly detailed nice paint jobs 
Again, the articulation's fantastic, or it will be once it's heated up and those joints are loosened. Again, two sets of hands with this guy. Got the hands that are going to hold uh, the weapon that he comes with, and he only comes with one. Um, well, he does come with two weapons, sorry. He comes with the another one of these staffs. And if you've been buying these Predator figures, you get those coming out the ass. And that hit the floor. i got to find that before the puppy finds it. That'll be a new toy for her. And then... knife to cut the tape on ouch, cut the tape on these things. Uh, and then it comes with one of the throwing discs and it looks like they should peg on to the holder onto the side because there should there's enough holes in this thing. Kind of hard to see the holes on this one because of how it's painted there. You see how many holes are in this thing? So it, it looks like it should peg in. But I've not yet been able to get the pegs, the holes to line up. The holes are smaller. See, it, it, it does kind of sit on there. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't trust that to stay on there. It does not. It's on there pretty good, actually. All right, well, that's the first one I've gotten to stay on the figure. Uh, the other ones that I've tried that on, I've not either been able to get the, the holes to line up or it would not stay on there. And it looks like this. there's a molded armor. So you, it's a shame they don't have like accessories because you could put a shoulder cannon. There's a track for the shoulder cannon, even though he doesn't come with one. So it would have been kind of nice if we could get accessory packs for some of these figures that don't come with these accessories. I, I understand that putting more accessories in with us with a figure increases the price point so you know for another 20 bucks why not make a set that has you know six of these guns to go shoulder guns to go with the to sit in the um, powder on this so you can have that in there and then you could get that or you could not get that if you wanted and then uh, of course the extra set of hands, which are open hands, and it looks like I've got someone here that would help like to help review today. And this is Alice, and let's see what Alice's thoughts on the figure are. She's not interested. All right, well, so that's a thumbs down from the puppy. All right, okay, so that was a scout predator, or yes, scout predator. Uh, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm ripping off the uh, box. Since I'm not keeping the box, I'm ripping the, the top off the box and I'm putting it in my tray so I know which predator is which. I've lost track of who is who in the um, in the previous wave because I didn't pay that much attention and I don't know them well enough to know who is who. Luckily it's got this little sheet so I can figure it out, but I'm sticking the box top in with the figure so I know which predator is which now. And that will keep help keep my gear sorted out as well. So scout trooper or scout predator. I keep wanting to say scout trooper from Star Wars. What's next here? Next, uh, we have the Lost Predator. So nice window box again, art at the front. Two nice pictures on the back. Same, same uh, picture and wording on the top as it was on all of these figures. And that says Exquisite Mini is a new standard setting, new standard setting series for 118th scale featuring super articulation action figures under Hyatt Toys. It's got a link to their Twitter, a link to their Facebook, um, and then just um, information where their company is located, which is in Shanghai, China. And then uh, the license information from uh, 20th Century Fox. 
and then the Predator logos on the side, and then the name of the figure on the top along with the Predator logo. So I think I might be able to seal on that one. Clamshell once again. Your figure list. Alright, for the Lost, we have kind of a greenish-yellow skin tone for this guy. Uh, just the regular arm pad, arm uh, gauntlets, none of the uh, extending blades for that. Uh, open jaw, jaws aren't, aren't uh, articulated at all. Um, the waist piece there. Uh, it looks like something would like to clip into that at the bottom there, but I don't see anything that's going to do that. Uh, again, the um, shoulder armor, it looks like you could put one of the shoulder cannons in there if you had one to, to use it, to put in there with it, but you, but you don't. So I'd like to see. I would probably buy a set of, you know, six or eight, for each one of my predators, so they just had they all had the shoulder cannon. Again, another one of the el the staffs that's elongated. I think almost all of these guys come with that piece. I got a ton of them, and I have no use for that many of them. They're just awkward and they're they bend real easy. Uh, as for other weapons, uh, this one comes with this pretty cool like machete, and the uh, blade does. There is a, not necessarily a sheath, but there's a loop for that to go into, and it doesn't want to go into it because it's the blade is too big. Uh, let's do it from the reverse. No, I'm gonna that'll I'm sure that will stretch a little bit once it's heated up and softened. Oh, there it goes. No. Sort of. I'm gonna heat that up. It's gonna be a lot easier to heat that up to force it in there. But the uh, machete will go into the little loop on his side there. Uh, he also comes with the collapsed spear. So you got the uh, the open and the collapsed spear. Um, and this is another very common weapon that everybody comes with. And of course, they all seem to come with trophies which is kind of cool so you got a new a uh, new some sort of alien skull there I'm curious to know I don't know enough about the like I don't know if we would call that an expanded universe you know from like the comic books and the movie or the comic books and the toys or and I haven't seen the last predator movie uh, cause I'm not a big fan of Shane Black um, to know if these are like skulls based off of something or if this is just something that the uh, sculptors came up with. And then it comes with the, the figure stand again and two eye brackets. So you put them on like that and then the inner lock. They do actually lock pretty tight and there's slots on all four sides so you can get it out one way or you can make a big square or you can go any which any way you want which I think is nice um, there is only one peg per stand which I don't know a stand this big I think it should have at least two or three pegs on it honestly uh, a lot of a lot of times anything with one figure with one peg they don't tend to be stable although the peg is nice that does peg into the foot very well uh, better than a lot of other figure stands that I've seen from other companies so it, the display options at least very nice on that because the figure stands are nice they're they're really big though for for what it is um, I don't, I probably won't use the figure stands. Um, I, 
don't have a display for my Predator figures right now, so they'll probably stay in the in this tackle box until I'm right until I play with them or um, figure out some sort of display with them. So we'll put his hands in there. Make sure his machete goes in there. Put this back together, and that was the lost Predator. And there is no no writing to explain. Who, you know who this particular character is, or why he's called that. I think they could have at least written a small paragraph in, e in English on why, you know, why this is the lost predator, why this is the scout predator, why this is the shaman predator. All right, the next one that I've got ready to go here is the battle damaged city hunter. So this one is specifically from. Predator 2, I believe, specifically the movie figure. And I'll take the clamshell apart. He comes with a lot of stuff. Of course, we have another collapsible and another, or collapsed and another open spear. So that's what they look like together. So this would be closed and this would be it open, the telegraphing or telescoping spear, rather is what I'm trying to say there. So put that there. I believe that's got like some sort of respiration respirator mask. And it should fit on his face. There it goes, fits on his face there. It can't tell if it's the hose is supposed to peg into the joints are super stiff on these. Man, you're gonna have to heat these up. Uh, I got the little kit sculpted onto his ankle. The sculpture sculpting and painting on this one's fantastic though. Kind of the more traditional predator color scheme, and then he's got his blood dripping down on his abdomen, on his belt, and uh, upper leg and chest, and then uh, where he's lost his arm there. So, he does come with two sets of hands. Luckily they are. I was kind of curious about that. Since he comes with two sets of hands, does and he's missing an arm, they are both the right hand, though. So he actually comes with three hands for his right arm. And then you've got the, the blades that are sculpted onto the uh, right arm as well. And that will take, a, will take the shoulder cannon if you, if you had one. So we're going to set him aside for a second and get the rest of this stuff out of here. piece in here that I haven't seen before, so I don't know what it is. And comes with the, another, with one of the throwing discs. One of the three real common weapons. He comes with all three of the common weapons. And then he comes with it's like some sort of communication device or something, some sort of piece of equipment that looks, has a peg on the back. I'm guessing it's for his... No, I was going to guess it was for this respirator, but I don't see where it pegs in right off the top. Oh, you know, I'll bet I know what that is. Here, I bet this, this goes, yep, there we go. Shoulder cannon, that's what that is. It goes in that track that I've been talking about. And then slides down. It's not very well detailed and it's pretty small, but there you go. Yeah, I think they could have given everybody one of these or at least made an accessory pack with a different, you know, a couple different styles for these guys. But there's your your uh, battle-damaged city 
Battle Damage City Hunter. So, and then of course another figure stand, and then the little eye brackets for it. And that is, let's see. So one of the things that I've not discussed is that is customization. Um, you know, I don't, I can't think of s having seen a whole lot of Predator customs that, I haven't seen anybody customize these Predator figures yet. I've seen Predator customs and they've been done with um, figures that are not Predator. So, you know, somebody has wanted a 118 scale Predator and they've made one using what's available and those are nice. Those are fantastic customs usually. But I've not seen anybody customize one of these Hyatt toy um, Predators. And I'm not sure that you'd need to. These really are nice figures. The paint jobs are fantastic. The articulation is great once you get them heated up and the joints loosened. And there's such a variety of these that I don't know that you'd need to customize these. Um, you know, if you had your own ideas for your own Predator figure, sure. I mean, these these are customizable, to be sure. Um, you heat these up, you're going to be able to pop the joints off and swap them out if you want, uh, swap the parts. But, you know, would you really need to with as many of these that are available... Why would you? I, I don't. I don't see the need to customize these. Uh, the next one we got here is the Jungle Predator. So this should be the Predator from the first movie, if I remember correctly on how they've. It's yeah. See, this just has the Predator logo instead of the Predator Two. So I think some of these guys like the Shaman and the Lost, or the Scout and the Lost. I think they might have been in the end scene there in, in Predator 2. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen Predator 2. But this one is specifically for Predator, the Predator movie. So this is the one that was in the first movie. And this is a nice figure. Man, yeah, this one is fantastic. You get the Whole kit on the back, the nice gun that is on some sort that's on a that is the gun is on a ball joint. Um, I'm gonna heat that up before I manipulate that as well, just to break the seal. Uh, he's got a like bandolier, I guess would be the best way to put it, made out of human spines, uh, soft rubber, uh, the real nice detailed. Arm, um, blades and these are slightly stiffer than the ones on the other figures uh, The again the face masks do not come off which kind of is kind of is a failing in my, in my opinion um, in this day and age especially with as detailed as these figures are as complex as these figures are I don't think it would have been that hard for them to to work out a way to have a removable mask on this, although it the, probably kept the cost down a little bit by not having to sculpt the head and then having to sculpt a helmet to go over it. You know, maybe just a... And I think the, um, the Jungle Predator is a little bit more expensive. Um, so you, you are still paying a little extra more for the, some of the extra gear that comes with this. You know, so I, I think they could have easily maybe not easily but they could have made removable masks for these guys and i think that that is a critique of mine uh it comes with a skull and a spine painted a nice red there i like that uh human skull and human spine obviously and then of course what predator figure would not come with the collapsed and the telescoped spear. And 
two sets of hands, extra set of hands, so you get the ones that will hold stuff, and then you've got the ones that are open. It does not come with a disc, uh, but then again, I don't think he, they, he didn't have a disc in the Predator movie, so that's not unusual. So there's his hands. Those are, again, ball jointed and not popping hands off to make sure that, to see if it has the teeth, the like barbell joint in there like the first one we looked at. Um, I will, like I said, I'll heat all these up later to get the articulation. All right. And of course, figure stand and two H brackets. So you could very easily make your own display. Oh, the art in the back was a little different than the other two. I actually like that one. I like that better than what it, the other ones came with. So you get a, you can make a dio pretty quick diorama pretty quick just out of this, and if you had a had it on a shelf and then printed out something to to go with the behind it, and then the they do seem to want to stay on their their pegs pretty well, so uh, I think that would be a good way to to display them if you uh, display your loose figures, and then of course one of the sheets. Probably not going to take the top off of this one to stick it in the in the top in the. Um, I don't know which one this one is. And same with the battle damage. I'm not taking the ripping the top off of that to stick in there. I know which one that is now. Next one is the Stalker Predator. Nice window box art. Two pictures of the figure on the back. Same stuff. Same printing. Predator Two logo. To the same art in the back, pressed, insert, uh, alright, that's a pretty cool skull, I don't know what that was when it was alive, but whatever it was, it looked like a badass motherfucker, so, Kind of soft plastic there. It looks like it could have been hinged, but it's not. So it's still supposed to be one piece. I don't even know if I gotta if that would fit in there. Finger stand, eye brackets. He comes with telescoped spear. One of the throwing discs. Extra set of hands. Let me get those out of there real quick, and then we'll take a look at the figure. Extra hands. Same as the other ones. Um, What's kind of nice about the these figures is they do have unique enough paint schemes that if you're throwing your hands in an accessory bucket or um, like I'm doing, um, that if it gets mixed up, that you are able to figure out which hands go with which figures because the paint jobs are unique enough even on the hands to tell which figure it goes with. And I think that's pretty cool. Since I've got a bunch of these, it's nice to be able to keep these separate. All right, so you got the soft hair. He's got a little reset bag pouch there. The waist armor, and he's got uh, 
where the, the uh, throwing disc can plug into. Um, well, I'm not going to try and see if I can plug it in right now. Yeah, his joints are really stiff as well. Uh, a lot of these guys I was able to just dunk in hot water for three minutes to loosen their joints up, but the boar predator, I actually had to put in water and microwave it to get it soft enough to loosen the joints. The joints to watch out for especially is the where the arm meets the shoulder. It's a peg down in there, and if you don't heat that up, and I would even recommend popping it off to break the seal and then putting it back on before twisting it because that peg going into the upper part of the arm is very soft plastic and you will take you have a high probability of tearing that if you don't break the seal on that once that arm is off and back on there you're fine you're golden I'll show you with one of the other. I'll show you with the, the boar figure actually the one that I had problems with this is the boar predator so that upper arm joint see now it, it swivels just fine on this one in the that plastic is hard again, and he's this guy was in the microwave for three minutes, and but that plastic's hard again. But now all the joints work, so you're not going to do damage to these guys if you have to stick them in a microwave. Uh, I recommend using a, a big coffee cup, filling the uh, just enough water to have maybe a, an inch, so they're fully submerged, and then three minutes. Um, you know, each microwave has a. Um, different power level like my father-in-law's microwave is like a nuclear furnace so you know just kind of keep an eye on it while it's in there don't do it for more than three minutes uh, do kind of kind of want to get the water boiling though but this is proof that it, it that it works I mean this he was in them these upper arm joints were both stuck I heated him up just dunking him in water for three minutes and I couldn't manipulate those upper arms and I could feel that plastic not wanting to give and I know if I if I forced it it would have torn those pegs off. So I stuck them in the microwave for three minutes, popped that arm off, put it back on, and now it's fine. It's perfect. So uh, that is the stalker predator then. Let's make sure all this gear gets in. And that fills up my tray. So I've got 12 Predator figures right there. And then let's put this together just for the hell of it. Just so I don't lose the parts to it. And I, I like I said, I probably won't use this. I, um... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I've thought about, um, since I have my USS flag, I've thought about having my Joy Toy guy, my Joy Toy military figures having a, a battle with predators on the deck of the flag. Um, but I haven't decided on that. I am going to take the top off of this so I know which that, that is the Stalker Predator. All right. That was six figures, and I saved the best one for last. At least the best one, in my opinion, specifically because I do love this particular style of figures. And that is the Invisible City Hunter Predator from Predator 2. So you've got your cloaked Predator. That looks fantastic in the box. Art on the back. Obviously, art on the front. Same on the top and bottom. Predator 2 logo on the sides. The insert is the one that's been in all the rest of them. Garbage. And, of course, figure sheet. Yep. Uh, I'm just curious if that's the same on all of them. And it doesn't look like this new wave is on here because he's not listed. Although I think this one is an exclusive. I think a couple of these were exclusive, listed as exclusives. Um, I think the 
Jungle Predator was not listed on here. Yeah, the Jungle Predator isn't listed on here. I know he was uh, a bit more expensive. Um, I know he was an exclusive figure. And this uh, Invisible City Hunter, I believe, was specifically an exclusive too. So those two are not on that list. And I, I don't remember who they were exclusive to because you can get them at Big Bad Toy Store. Figure stand. Kind of been neat to have the figure stand in translucent plastic too, but hey, that's just me being picky. And it's fine. Let's put this together before. Ooh, I just want to like savor the anticipation because I love translucent figures. Absolutely love translucent figures. I've gotten translucent figures of lines that I don't even collect because it's translucent. Alright, we got a nice dio stand going there. So accessory wise, let's pull the accessories out. Human skull and spine cloaked. That's that's pretty cool. Extended spear. Collapsed spear. I'm gonna set those aside. does come with one of the throwing discs and the open hands. See, I, I really think that there's supposed to be a way for the fingers. Yeah. The, the reason that your fingers are open is so that he can sort of hold that disc. I think it fits in there better. I'm not... 100% sure how that's I know there's got to be a way to do that it's got to peg on to see it looks like you should peg into the thumb maybe but then it doesn't go all the way across but it, put it on just the top two fingers fingers so I mean he can sort of hold that I think that's what's why there's so many holes in that is so he's supposed to be able to but I'm not sure which holes are supposed, to, which fingers are supposed to go in which holes. And there's no instructions with these. So uh, yeah, two sets of clear hands, and then your translucent figure. So this is a predator from Predator Two. So he's got the uh, little pouch there, and it's on a white string to simulate the camouflage. This does need to be heated up too. The joints on this are very stiff. Uh, his throwing disc should peg into the, the waist peldron there, and uh, pretty stiff on the on the uh, blades on the wrist too. Man, this thing looks fantastic. I love it. So let's think about. The, the four things that are of you. Packaging, packaging's fantastic on this. They might have been able to package these in less packaging and save some money. But if you're a mitten box collector, um, these, are, these are stackable, which is nice for bot window boxes like this as, as opposed to carded figures. So um, they'll sit on a shelf that you can pack them easily if you don't have a lot of space. If you're a mint and box collector, these this is the packaging is nice. The art is nice on there. The pictures on the back are fantastic. Playability, playability on these is high, absolutely. Not straight out of the box though. Keep in mind you are gonna have to heat these up. And I know I've said that in the Joy Toy review, the first one, first couple that I'd said to heat the Joy Toy figures up, and then I, then they improved them, and you didn't need to need to heat those up this has not changed you have to heat these up you are going to break joints on these if you don't heat these up and you know that's just due to the fact that this is a small toy company they're not making a lot of these they don't have the time to to time or the energy or the money to make sure all the joints are loose before it ships i mean you see all that on some of, a lot of the kickstarter figures too they'll tell you you need to heat the joints up before you play with them so i mean that's to me, that's not a, I know there's a lot of people that'd be like, I want, I want it playable straight out of the box. And you know what? Calm the fuck down. 
you, you figure up. It takes five minutes to do all, you know, it'll take me a, a five minutes to heat all these guys up. It's not that big of a deal. Especially for the quanti quality that really is here. These are solid quality figures. This plastic is not going to get brittle with time. It's soft enough that it will stay pliable. Just need to heat them up to get them loose. So the playability, absolutely highly playable. Customizability, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could customize them. But as a figure customizer, I mean, that's, I customize more than I collect. And I just don't, I don't see myself customized. These, they just don't need to be customized. Could you? Sure. Why would you? I don't know. Um, and then price. These are running about 20 bucks a piece. I can see some people balking at the price on that. That is a little high for a single figure. But again, low batch toys are going to be more expensive, especially from um, independent toy companies. You know, if Hasbro or Mattel were making these, number one, the articulate, the quality would not be here. So you're, you're paying for the, the better articulation, the higher quality. And in lower batches, the price is going to be higher per figure. That's just economics. It's just how it works. So that's why these are more expensive. And I think it's worth every penny of these. Um, so what figures should you get? What figures do you want? Are you a big enough Predator fan that you want all of these like I am? Or can you, or do you want to pick and choose? And what, if you had to pick and choose, which ones would you want? Which ones would you run? Which ones should you get? Which ones should you not pass up? My opinion, this one right here, top of the list. Just because it's it's cool. A cloaked predator figure is, is fantastic. And my other top recommendation would be the... Uh, Jungle Predator from the first movie. These these two right here, if you only had to had money enough for two figures, these were these would be the two figures that I would get. You can live without all of the other Predator figures, but if you're a, any sort of Predator fan, can't yeah I won't say can't live without them, but shouldn't have to live without them because these are fantastic figures. These are the two that I would get. Went ahead and heated these guys up while well, I had the video paused um, to loosen the joints on these guys. And definitely, I think on all almost all the figures, the the one spot that is troublesome is that bicep joint right there. Oop, his head's not back on there. I like the fact that everything's ball jointed, however, so it should just pop on and off. Bulb joints are the best. So, well, not the best, but I mean, I like ball joints. Um, so, some pitfalls about getting these getting these joints to work. I some of them I were just I was able to heat up and just twist them, and you could feel the seal break. Some of the a couple of these guys, especially this one and. Um, these two were bastards for me, and I actually had to get pull the bicep off the arm to get that seal to break because I start twisting it, and I can feel the peg twisting with it with the bicep. And you do that enough times, and you're gonna weaken that plastic, and it's just gonna pop off in your bicep eventually. So that's why you need to heat these up. Now the when you heat these up, you need to be, and if you have to take off the arm, you need to be careful where you grab it. If you grab it at the lower arm, this whole arm is going to be soft and weak, and you're going to tear the elbow joint, which is just uh, a peg in holding the lower arm to the upper arm. So you don't want to grab it down here. You want to grab it up on the bicep, and that's not particularly easy because the plastic is soft, and you have to squeeze it hard enough that you're actually kind of putting pressure on the peg that you're trying to remove it from. So it it's kind of hard to get the arm off to begin with, but do not pull it from the lower arm. You will tear that joint. That plastic is soft at that 
very pliable at that point in time, weakening this joint. And you don't want to rip those arms. Almost did that. I felt it like, ooh, nope, better not pull from there. So go up high and then get it off. I then had trouble getting uh, the arm, an arm on this guy and an arm on that guy back on because the plastic is still soft and that peg then becomes pliable. So to fix that, I ran him under cold water to get that plastic hard again, heated the arms up, uh, and that one went on without any problem. That, worked, that trick worked really well. Um, however, two of these arms did not want to go back on even with the lower, with the lower arm soft and the upper arm uh, hard. Uh, so what I had to do was kind of let this one cool down a little bit, made sure the upper arm was cold as well, and then slowly twist and press up at the same time. Excuse me. Twist and press up at the same time until that arm pops on there. And it will. It goes, it goes right back on there. So no problems. So yeah, there, there was definitely some tension in the peg between the um, ball joint in the hip to the upper leg. Anywhere there's a peg pegging into something, that's where your problems are going to be. Any of the ball joints are, are pretty much fine. And uh, the, and the uh, knee and elbow joints are not problems either. But anything that pegs into anything else, that's where your problems are going to be on these figures, it seems. So just make sure that you get those that plastic softened up before you start playing with it um, or you're going to rip those joints out. And this is why you want to heat your joints up and make sure they're loose before they cool down. Snapped right off. Bam, that's exactly what happened to my Batman figure. This is why you need to heat these figures up, why you need to manipulate them while they're still warm before they cool down. Unfortunately, that was on the Jungle Predator figure from the first movie, which is one of the two figures that I recommended. So I am extremely pissed off about that. Yeah, because that joint is... Yeah, that's why you need to heat these up before you start fooling around with these things and why you need to make sure the joints are loose before they're cooled down because these things are fragile. I'm not real happy about that, especially after the glowing review I just gave these guys. And for the most part, these are fantastic figures, but any peg, peg joint is a weak point on these figures. You really have to be careful with these things. These are definitely not for kids. And just in review, packaging's fantastic. If you're gonna keep these mitten box, not a problem. Um, packaging's definitely fantastic. Uh, the playability, once these are heated up and the joints are loose before they cool down, yeah, absolutely, these things are great. I love them. Uh, the equipment gets kind of old since they all seem to have one of three weapons. Um, but, you know, it's there wasn't a lot of other weapons in the in canon. So, you know, it is what it is with those three particular weapons, which is the telescope to spear, the closed spear, and then the throwing disc. Um, the customization, like I said, I don't see any point in customizing these. Uh, I'm curious to see if I can... Uh, fix this one on my own or if I just need to have it replaced uh, and price um, again it's you know it is what it is they're they're 20 to 25 dollars a piece depending on the figure uh, small batch toys I think they're worth it you're not going to find 118 scale predators anywhere else aside from the hot toy snap kits that came out years and years ago and are virtually impossible to find, certainly for a reasonable price. I do have one of uh, the, uh, I have parts for one, most of one, and I do have the uh, translucent phasing Hot Toys Snap Kit figure, 118 scale, which I assume I could get a fairly decent amount of money for. Um, 
are they worth it? Yeah, I think they really are, uh, just because of what they are. They are high quality toys. They just need a little love uh, and a little TL, just a little TLC to get them get them going straight out of the box. And they are in the scale that I collect and customize. So I mean, there is no other way to get any other Predator figures. And these these really are nice figures, aside from a few QC QA problems. So I do think they are worth the price tag. Um, and we'll see how, if I can get it replaced. I'm curious to see what Big Bad Toy Store will do for me on that. Um, maybe I'll give you an update on that. So, uh, hopefully you found this video informative and enlightening and uh, will help you make up your mind on whether or not you need some 118 scale predators because I highly recommend these. Just be careful with them. And thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.